one of the things that I have noticed living in Los Angeles is that LA, Los Angeles Rams are in the Super Bowl. Yeah. You wouldn't know it to drive around LA. <laughs> Am I right? You drive around LA and you don't see any signage. I don't see anyone wearing a Rams hat because that's just the way LA is. Um. I'm, I'm serious. I've been driving around a lot. I saw one city bus that went, it just had one of those little electric signs and it said, uh, stops frequently. And then the next message that came up was, go Rams. <laughs> That was a question mark? Yeah, it was a question mark. <laughs> Go Rams? I mean, they weren't even sure. I didn't grow up in a town like this. I grew up in Boston, Massachusetts. And in Boston, Massachusetts, you have to wear your Red Sox cap when the Red Sox are playing. You have to wear your Patriots cap when the Patriots are playing. You have to wear a Bruins jersey when the Bruins are playing. You have to wear a Celtics jersey when the Celtics are playing. And people take it really seriously. True story. My father went out to get groceries a couple of years ago when the Patriots were in the Super Bowl, uh -huh. and he forgot to put on his Patriots cap. Yeah. Two years in prison. <laughs> he spent two years in prison for that. They pulled him over, he didn't have his hat. Two years. Yeah. Uh, unbelievable, that's the intensity of what is happening in-, in That's crazy. It, it's crazy. No, no it's, I, I like this, where people are like, yeah, it's cool, we're in the Super Bowl. Nice job, guys. Oh. I bet you right now, and I think this crowd agrees with me, if I went around to L.A. and randomly asked people, are you excited about the Rams? Yeah. Two-thirds of them would spray mace in my face. <laughs> and they I... would say I was, a, I was attacked by a, a woman in a corduroy jacket, a tall, orange-haired woman. They wouldn't know what was going on. I almost forgot the Rams came back. I remember they were here, and then I, somebody said, oh, the Rams are in the Super Bowl. I was like... Oh. You know what's really sad? When you have a football team that leaves and no one notices. <laughs> it's like someone who leaves a party and then wanders back later on and go, I bet you, did you go? Oh, yeah. I feel terrible. I mean. But that's what happened. The Rams left, now they're back. But, uh, you know, are you excited about it? Is anyone in your family excited about it? People in my family are. I'm not, you know, I... I Okay. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know why we're in the Super Bowl thing. You're. I don't think of Conan O'Brien when I think of the Super Bowl, and I certainly I think, have well, no first idea of what's all, going on. Well, first of all, you don't know anything about football, and this is a true story. Oh, you Absolutely know true story. <laughs> Sona walked in to do the podcast today. Okay, this is about 45 minutes ago, and this is absolutely true. Okay, my dad didn't do two years in prison for not wearing what? a hat. You got me no. there. But. Sona walked in 45 minutes ago and learned for the first time that Tom Brady had retired yes, from football. That is actually very true. I had you heard, didn't know. I had heard there were like he was. They were like, oh, he might retire, and I was like, okay. And then I just found out that he had announced. You when found did that out. Happen? You found out Obama was president during his second term. That was. You yeah. were always tr and crazily misinformed. He had two terms. Yeah, he had two terms. Wow. Yeah, okay. maybe a little less of the edible, <laughs> a little more of the read the newspaper. Yeah. Um, um, anyway, I'm read a newspaper. <laughs> well, online. I know it's not cool to have paper. Uh, but anywho, you know, this is to contrast it. Cincinnati. Yeah. Okay, the Bengals. Cincinnati is giving kids the day off from school the day after the Super Bowl. On Monday, everyone in Cincinnati has the day off. This has been declared like everyone, no school, regardless if they win or lose. What? Yes. Why? And in L.A., you could, you, no, no one even knows. In Cincinnati, they're shutting everything down. They're gonna empty the hospitals. Uh, <laughs> they're gonna have uh, bulldozers destroy the libraries so no one <laughs> can use them on Monday. Everything's gonna be completely shut down. They're not gonna put fluoride in the water. Everything's being shut down okay. on that day. And well, it's just gonna be just lawlessness, craziness, Mad Max beyond Thunderdome. It's gonna be nuts. All right. That's how seriously they're taking it. And then of course, here we are in LA.